Welcome to a brief overview of the Alpha Development Level 5 Operations Departmental Manager Apprenticeship Program. Most managers are promoted because they are good at their job and not necessarily because they are good at managing people. People management is a separate skill. This program creates future leaders who have the confidence, skills and capability to inspire and motivate your teams. The program takes between 15 to 18 months and guides the learners through two core principles of leadership and management, then five technical skills units and finishes with a reflective professional development unit. All eight units involve a one-day workshop and submission of an assignment, so there are no exams. The assignments are all submitted to the Chartered Management Institute, the CMI, for the learner to then achieve their Diploma in Leadership and Management, gaining them Chartered Manager status and industry-leading professional accreditation. The units are well-structured, starting with two core units introducing the role of a manager and the fundamental skills needed to lead. We then focus in on five key technical skills required of managers and finish with a professional development unit which will provide a platform to maintain and further develop your skills into the future. Let's explore the units in more detail, starting with the core principles. We'll look at the organisational context of leadership and management, how organisations operate, what role management plays in this, approaches to leadership and management, and what it takes to be an effective manager. We then focus in on how to develop, manage and lead your teams and the individuals within them. We cover the purpose and characteristics of high-performing teams, how to lead, communicate and motivate them, how to respond proactively to challenges and how to manage performance. We then move on to five areas of technical expertise which are key to all management roles. We look at managing projects, their purpose, how they are developed and delivered and how to successfully monitor them. Finance is an area where many managers need further understanding and training. We look at how to manage resources, understanding budgets and managing costs, how to monitor and control a budget, all in the context of your own team and area of responsibility. Stakeholder management is another key area to a leadership role. We look at how to build relationships through effective communication and the different channels involved. We also look at responding to barriers and using stakeholder communication to support your role as a manager. The unit on change management looks at the reasons why change is often necessary, the role of a manager in change and how to approach, plan, initiate and manage change. The final technical unit looks at operational planning, the principles of why they are needed, how to create a plan in line with your objectives and how to manage, lead, monitor and measure a plan within your area of responsibility. The final area of focus looks at your continued professional development. It teaches the value of using and applying reflective practice to inform and improve your skills and knowledge as a manager. This all ties in nicely with the final endpoint assessment. This is where the learner submits all eight unit assignments and their online portfolio of work-based statements to display their technical and practical expertise as a chartered manager. Looking again at the programme schedule, we will start with an in-depth induction session where the learners will be guided through exactly what is required throughout the programme and what support they will receive. Each unit will require a one-day online workshop and submission of an assignment, two for the core units, five technical and the final professional development unit. The endpoint assessment will involve our skills coach providing additional support to help the learner tidy up all of the required submission elements to achieve their level five diploma and complete the apprenticeship. Along the way, in addition to continued support from the skills coach, we will conduct quarterly reviews with the learner and line manager to check and report on progress, address any concerns and keep things on track. Alpha developments provide a huge amount of support throughout the programme. Line managers will have a single point of contact to help them to support and advise their team members through their development. Learners receive regular coaching support, delivered remotely, both through structured sessions and ad hoc support when needed. Coaches will support the practical application of what the apprentice has learned, as well as helping out with any queries or concerns. Learning journals will be completed regularly throughout the programme to build a log of practical evidence in a bite-sized and manageable way. Regular workshops delivered by ex-industry professionals will provide a learning experience that is relevant and meaningful. 
putting the learner in a perfect position to complete their assignments. Digital learning resources will provide further support to complete assignments and understand the work-based application of learning. Support for completing assessments is provided through regular feedback on areas of strength and highlighting any areas where further work is needed. Workouts, or short work-based statements, integrate the learning into the practical work context. We hope this overview has provided some useful information. We would love to chat further about how we can support you and your teams. Thanks for watching and hope to speak soon.